Did DeepSeek R1 create something groundbreaking, or did they just figure out how to replicate OpenAI's success? AI distillation, a brilliant shortcut or a controversial loophole? The answer may change the future of AI. In the rapidly evolving landscape of artificial intelligence, the emergence of DeepSeek R1 has sparked debates that go beyond technological breakthroughs. The core issue? Whether DeepSeek's AI innovation is genuinely transformative or simply a clever replication of existing models. AI distillation lies at the heart of this controversy, raising questions that may redefine the boundaries of innovation. What's at stake? DeepSeek R1's rise as a powerful AI model. Why is it making waves? DeepSeek R1 has captured the AI community's attention with its impressive capabilities and open source accessibility. Its rise to prominence seems like a win for innovation, until OpenAI raised serious concerns. The accusation? DeepSeek may have leveraged a technique called AI distillation to unfairly replicate the success of OpenAI's proprietary models. If true, does this mark a new era of AI development or a major ethical dilemma? The real question isn't whether AI models learn from each other, it's whether that learning crosses a line. The implications are vast. If AI companies begin copying each other's models without clear ethical guidelines, it could create chaos and undermine trust within the industry. This debate challenges companies to balance the need for collaboration with maintaining ethical development practices. What is AI distillation? Explanation in simple terms. Distillation is like training a student using a top professor's notes instead of making them learn from scratch. At its core, AI distillation involves taking the outputs of a more advanced model and using them to train a simpler, more efficient model. It's a method designed to accelerate learning and make AI models more accessible. Why is it controversial? Because while distillation is a common practice, it blurs the line between inspiration and imitation. If all AI models are trained on past data, where do we draw the line between inspiration and imitation? The efficiency of distillation comes at a potential ethical cost. When does learning from existing models become outright copying? Distillation can accelerate AI growth, but at what cost? This debate isn't just theoretical. It has real-world implications for how AI models are developed and deployed. Companies must consider whether rapid development through distillation is worth the potential backlash. The case against DeepSeek, examining OpenAI's concerns. Was DeepSeek's training data sourced ethically? OpenAI's concerns revolve around the origins of DeepSeek R1's training data. While both companies have remained vague about the specifics, the similarities between R1 and OpenAI's models are striking enough to raise eyebrows. If DeepSeek didn't directly copy OpenAI, why does their AI perform so similarly? These similarities beg the question, was it coincidence, innovation, or something more? If DeepSeek did indeed rely on distillation without proper consent or attribution, it could set a dangerous precedent. Could this set a precedent where AI companies fear their work will be replicated? If AI creators start fearing that their groundbreaking work will be replicated without proper safeguards, it may stifle innovation. Trust within the AI development community could be eroded, slowing down progress. DeepSeek's response, DeepSeek's explanation. Did they use OpenAI's outputs or did they build R1 from scratch? DeepSeek has firmly denied any wrongdoing, claiming that R1 was built using novel methodologies and entirely original datasets. However, their transparency has been called into question. What has been shared publicly remains limited. If DeepSeek played fair, why is this so controversial? One possibility is that the controversy stems from the broader lack of established guidelines in AI development. Without clear rules, it's difficult to determine where fair play ends and unethical practices begin. Does this controversy highlight a gap in AI ethics or just a lack of clear rules? The DeepSeek debate is shedding light on the need for clearer boundaries in AI innovation. Companies must not only push the boundaries of technology, but also be prepared to be transparent about their processes and methodologies. Will this change everything? The ongoing controversies surrounding AI research and the protection of intellectual property 
has sparked significant debate about the future of artificial intelligence. Many are questioning how these developments will shape the trajectory of AI innovation. If stricter regulations on knowledge distillation, the process by which AI models learn from one another, are implemented, it could potentially slow the pace of AI advancements. Such regulations might limit the ability of researchers and companies to build upon existing models, stifling creativity and progress. Conversely, failing to address the ethical and legal concerns surrounding replication and intellectual property could lead to unchecked misuse, unauthorized copying, and ethical violations, undermining trust in the AI ecosystem. A critical question arises. If AI models can no longer learn from each other, will innovation hit a wall? The answer to this question could determine the future of AI development. Companies may need to rethink their strategies to safeguard their intellectual property while still encouraging collaboration, which has been a cornerstone of AI progress. This could involve developing new frameworks for licensing, sharing, or open sourcing AI technologies in a controlled and ethical manner. The debate also highlights the urgent need for international cooperation and standardized regulations. Without a unified approach, the AI industry risks fragmentation with conflicting practices and policies across different regions. This could create barriers to global collaboration and hinder the development of universally beneficial AI technologies. As one observer noted, this debate isn't just about DeepSeek, it's about how AI will evolve from here. The outcome of this discussion will likely set the tone for AI research and development for years to come. Striking the right balance between fostering collaboration and protecting intellectual property will be essential for ensuring sustainable and ethical innovation in the field of artificial intelligence. Collaboration versus competition. How will companies adapt to this changing landscape? If the AI industry wants to avoid falling into stagnation, companies must collaborate to establish clear ethical guidelines. Competitive advantage should not come at the cost of questionable practices. Major AI players could benefit from sharing knowledge transparently while protecting proprietary innovations. The development of an independent regulatory body or collaborative agreements could help ensure ethical AI practices. Will the AI industry find common ground or will competition tear it apart? As DeepSeek's controversy plays out, the world watches for a precedent that could shape how AI models are trained and shared in the future. What does this mean for AI? No clear-cut answers, only lessons for the future of AI development. Whether DeepSeek crossed an ethical line or not, the controversy underscores a critical point, the need for new guidelines in AI development. As AI continues to shape our world, companies and regulators must navigate these uncharted waters carefully. Is DeepSeek R1 an AI breakthrough or a warning sign for the industry? One thing is certain, the AI landscape will never be the same after this. The debate surrounding DeepSeek is just the beginning. The future of AI will be defined by how we address these complex questions today. Industry leaders, developers, and policymakers must come together to create a framework that encourages innovation while maintaining ethical standards. By embracing transparency and collaboration while establishing strong guidelines, the AI industry can move toward a future where innovation thrives without compromising ethical integrity.